Alright guys, so before we do this, I do want to say I am not sponsored by any company. I This is a 100% unbiased video. These videos will be 100% unbiased as long as I stay not sponsored, at least. Well, even if I was to be sponsored, it would still be unbiased because I'm going to be honest about everything. If your product sucks, your product sucks. If your product's good, your product's good. So, we're going to do this quick compare and contrast. We got the Shine Spy bottles right there. We got the Adams bottles over there. We're doing Adams wheel cleaner, Adams tire rubber cleaner. I'll actually save this for the other side because this is a, like all in one for wheels and tires. So we're gonna see how just their tire rubber cleaner works versus their wheel cleaner. And then same with the Shine Supply. We got Wise Guy tire cleaner right here. That actually will work on the stock wheels, but on custom wheels, you do not want to use this. And we got Cool Guy, which is their uh, wheel cleaner. So. We're going to do a compare. This is solution. This is the degreaser. I use this in the wheel wells. We're not really doing a compare and contrast on that. That's just for me to clean. But that's what we're going to do on this. So first, we get the Wise Guy tire cleaner. And this is diluted two to one. And you kind of just get it on there nice and thick. Let's get the cool guy. Get inside the barrels here. You want to let this like marinate in there for a second but never let it dry because you can stain wheels so over here we got the detail division little organizer and the wheel woolies from shine supply and then this just from your local detail shop i love this thing because you can get in anywhere so just clean so the cool guy sat in there and ate for a bit now i just take this get inside the barrel and you see how the wise guy kind of just there was a tire dressing on there, you could tell, so it didn't really eat away at the dirt, it ate away at the tire dressing, which you're going to see when I use the Adams Tire and Rubber Cleaner. It doesn't really work the way Wise Guy does, because in my opinion, Wise Guy, I've been using it for a year now, Wise Guy is the best tire cleaner that you can use, in my opinion. But you see how the wheel turned purple? You'll get that out of the Adams too. But look at the cleaning effect on this. And right now I'm using the Wheel Wooly brush that you can also get on Shine Supply's website. Check that out. So I'm actually going to do a quick rinse on the wheel. Then I'm going to grab my Wise Guy one more time. And we're going to let it actually eat now. Now that we know that the tire dressing that was originally on there is gone. So let's get a wheel brush. This is Adam's wheel brush. I just picked this up like this so far. I cheated and tried it yesterday too. As you can see, the wheel's a little bit more clean, but we have some dirt in the wheel faces in here. So we're gonna take the Adams. It's a brand new bottle, so gonna spray it up in the barrel. And this is a lot. This is a lot thicker, in my opinion. Well, not in my opinion. It's just coming out thicker than the cool guy does, which isn't a positive, isn't a negative. I'm not the chemist behind it. I'm just saying my opinion. Well, that's actually a fact because it is thicker. And then tire and rubber cleaner. And you can see how this is a little bit more watered down. It doesn't come out like soap the way the other one does. It is doing a little bit of eating, but honestly, I've used this for a little bit now. I'm not a huge fan. I literally just have to soak the tire. Like, this bottle's almost empty. I would do maybe two cars with this whole bottle just because I feel like you need so much more of it. But I'm gonna let that eat, get back to the barrels. I'm actually gonna go with this wheel woolly this time because I haven't used this one yet. I wanna try this one out. So this wool, wheel woolly brush set comes with this big one, which I like. Uh, it comes, they're all straight, all three of them that it comes with. It comes with small, medium. I think it's three or four, but see how it doesn't get in right there? Mm. So I just get my 
smaller one, this little one, which is really cool. Nice little tiny one. Boom. Get back there. Get in between all of these. Which is really nice. But I could just use that basic $8 one from the detail shop down the street. This one right here. This one works nice. Let's just use this. Now we'll go back to the tire. So just gonna let the tire sit for a bit. I can see it eating mold dressing though. I will say that. So with this, you just have to do a little bit more agitating. That's all. It is a comparable product, but in my opinion, like I said, I prefer Wise Guy. I go through that stuff the way uh, toilet paper and COVID go. So, that's how I am a wise guy. I love that stuff. It just eats. We'll actually do something. Great. Now to show you just how each product did, let's actually take the Wise Guy on this tire and let's see if the Wise Guy can activate any dirt on here. Look at that. You already got dirt coming to the surface. Now let's grab the tire rubber cleaner and see what we can do over here. See if any dirt comes to the surface. So far, nothing. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to this one, Cam. Let's check this one out. That one. Look at that. Yeah, looks like there was quite a bit of dirt in there still. So, if you were to buy one of these, which one would you go with? I think you'd go, go with, with this one, huh? I would too. So, between tire cleaners, for sure. I'm going with Shine Supply. Definitely Shine Supply. Wheel cleaner, it's a toss up. Hmm. It all depends on which one you prefer. After I did that pressure washer video, the first video, um, Adams contacted me and Phil, like I said earlier, contacted me. We talked on the phone for about 20 minutes. Really cool conversation, really cool guy. And he set me up over with, uh, he called Adams Polishes Anaheim and set me up with a Swirl Killer Mini with a detachable cord, like I said earlier. Uh, I used it today. Love this thing. This is a solid machine. I'll feature a video on it, maybe in the future or something. Next correction. We'll see. I should have taken camera with me to Ford today, and we should have done that. That Shelby, man, that thing was sweet. <laughs> um, next time. Yeah, next time. Next time. But, like I said, this is a brand new foam gun. They just dropped it. I tried it out yesterday. I liked it. Pretty thick foam, comparable to the MTM Hydro that I have over here. But this does need to be cleaned out. It's not performing at its level right now, so I can't really do a comparison video. Not even gonna lie about it. So. We're gonna get this cleaned up, take it apart, fix it all up. <clears throat> but as far as this, for, since we're doing the Adams Foam Cannon, I'm gonna go with the Adams Mega Foam because we're just gonna pair them up together instead of Hot Shot. But I have gallons of this. This is why I use Hot Shot the most. It's their new formula. It's literally, I think they're the same product. I, if we did a comparison video, you wouldn't even know the difference. So it's like the same thing. I'm not even gonna lie about it. This is, these two are when you start getting into the good goods right here. The, these two are the, the Carbon Collective. Those ones are the good goods. So, we're gonna stick with Adams for this video. All right, so we got the car rinsed off, so now we're gonna go into the pre-rinse. So you guys can see a little action of this foam cannon. Let's try it out. Got the nozzle top turned all the way to the right for max foam. Okay, that, see, this is what I mean. Yesterday I did a test run with it, and I did not like that.
so overall review on Shine Supply's Cool Guy and Wise Guy compared to Adam's Tire and Rubber Cleaner and Wheel Cleaner. So for me personally, as far as the, the tire cleaner goes, I'm going with Wise Guy all the way. It is a two-in-one. It does clean wheels as well. Um, I like to use this on stock wheels. I like to use this on wheels that aren't so dirty. I don't use them on use Wise Guy on custom wheels. That is where I'll go to Adams. Actually, neither of these products I'll go to Eco Wheel Cleaner from Adams, which is what I'll use instead of even Cool Guy. Now, <clears throat> the Adams Tire and Rubber Cleaner is very good for floor mats. That's what I would use this for. Um, as far as cleaning tires, not a huge fan of it. It doesn't really eat away. You saw the results of it. Compared to Wise Guy, I just like the way this foams up and eats away at the dirt. <clears throat> With when it comes to the wheel cleaners, you have Cool Guy and Wheel Cleaner from Adams. The wheel cleaner, the, they're so similar that it's it's like literally a toss-up. But between which company do you want to go with, really? Um, me personally, I switch it up. I'll go with this one sometimes. I'll go with this one, but I always keep. Like you see, I got a lot. I always keep both in stock. It just depends on the wheel I'm dealing with, the job I'm dealing with, what um, wheel cleaner I'm going to go with. But as far as what do I buy by the gallon, I definitely uh, get Cool Guy by the gallon for sure. Uh, I go through that a lot more, a lot frequently. I just like the way that this attacks when there's heavy brake dust on there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching my overall review on the Adams and Shine Supply products. I appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.